hello students how are you students as you know we have been discussing about the chain rule and in the previous lecture we have discussed about uh, the chain rule for function of two variables but in today's lecture we will see that how we can apply the chain rule for function of three variables now students here we have a theorem let me write the uh, uh, statement of the theorem first then i will explain it it says that the theorem says that if you have a function what kind of function function of three variables x y and z and there is a condition on the function that this function is differentiable okay you have a differentiable function and and x y and z are differentiable functions of of t then w is a differentiable function of differentiable function of t and dw by dt is equals to partial f over partial x into dx over dt plus partial f over partial y into dy by dt uh, and plus partial f by partial z into dz by dt okay now students let, let's look at the theorem again the theorem says that you have a differentiable function okay which is a differentiable function and x y z are further differentiable functions of t okay and then w means your original function would be a differentiable function of t and if we apply the chain rule then we will get this formula and we say this is equation number one now students how we can look uh, and understand look at the picture and understand what this formula says or how we can easily re uh, remember it or recall it again and again okay now students suppose you have a function w is equals to f of x y z and you know that it is a dependent variable what is dependent variable definitely w is dependent variable because x y and z are independent variables now students our x y and z if i write here x y and z this dependent variable is a function of these three means x y and z okay and uh, these three are uh, intermediate variables intermediate variables okay and further these intermediate variables are a function of t if i write here t then these three are the differentiable functions of t okay and what is t t is basically independent variable okay now students as you know that uh, here we will uh, if we find the derivative of w with respect to x then we will treat is treat it partially because we couldn't be able to take the complete derivative as w is a function of x y and z so here we will treat it partially and we will write here the partial derivative of w with respect to x okay in the similar way here we will find the partial derivative of w with respect to y and here partial w by partial z but here you know that x is the uh, function of t alone so we can write here dx by dt means we could be able to find here the complete derivative in the similar way here we can write dy by dt and here we can write dz by dt okay now students if you uh, um, observe this diagram or a picture then you can see that if i need to find the dw by dt means the derivative of w with respect to an independent variable t then first of all you will start from here you will write partial w by partial x and then 
multiply with this d by dx by dt and after that you uh, you will add the plus sign and after that you will multiply partial w uh, by partial um, y or partial dy by dt basically you know now this is our function so that's why you can write here w or um, you can write here uh, your uh, original function okay students now uh, students in the similar way you can uh, do this thing now students let us look at a particular example and try to understand that how we can apply the chain rule for function of three variables on a specific example now students let let's look at a particular example uh, the example is about change in functions value along a helix the question says that question is basically uh, we need to find a uh, dw by dt if our function is of three variables like x y plus z uh, where x is equals to cos of t and y is equal to sine of t and z is equal to t then it says that find the derivative uh, derivatives value at t is equal to zero this is our question okay students now if you look at the equation number one then you can easily see uh, we have a formula dw by dt is equal to partial w by partial x into dx by dt uh, plus partial w by partial y into dy by dt and in the similar way plus partial w by partial z times dz by dt this is the formula that i have written down here now students let's solve it first of all you know that dw by dt as it is and here if we find that partial derivative of w with respect to z then you know x and y would be treated as a constant so its derivative with respect to um sorry we, we are asked to find partial w partial w by partial x okay now you know that if we are dealing with respect to x then our y and z would be treated as a constant now if we find the partial derivative of this function but i think so i should write it uh, here first then uh, maybe you couldn't be able to understand it directly okay and dx by dt is equals to negative sine of t in the similar way partial by partial y times x y plus z and dy by dt is equals to cos of t and plus partial w by partial z uh, basically na, uh, its derivative would be equal to one okay and uh, the partial derivative of t would be one when i will explain here the partial derivative then would you would understand why i have written down here one now here you will write dw by dt is equal to now here uh, we are treating with respect to x so our y is constant and z is constant but here y we can plug out y and uh, the derivative of x be, would become equal to one so uh, i am left i am left with y but here the derivative of z means a constant is equal to zero because here we are dealing with respect to x so i will not write here z because um, it's um, it will become equal to zero and here i can write minus sine of t and plus in the similar way here i will get x and times cos of t and plus one you know that uh, they both of them will be treated as a constant and the derivative of z would become equal to one now students if you plug here the values of y and z then you will get um, basically y is equals to sine of t times minus sine of t and uh, plus cos of t uh, times cos of t plus one and if you simplify it further then you will get minus sine square t plus cos square t plus one and uh, you know we are asked to find the dw by dt at the point t is equal to zero so i will plug out uh, plug uh, t is equal to zero in these values so we will get cos square zero plus one and you know it would become equal to zero 
because sin 0 is 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1 and 1 square would be 1 and plus 1 as it is. Now we will get the answer 2. Okay students. Now student this is all about today's lecture in which I have discussed that how we can uh, apply the chain rule for a function of two variables. Okay. For, sorry, sorry for a function of three variables. And we have also looked at a particular example that how we can apply that rule. Now, student, this is all about today's lecture. See you next time. Thank you so much.